Sagittarius, this is all about you in about two minutes. Right now, it's kind of about me. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload all the new content. Because even though this video, these videos no longer have any kind of dates on them, I do make a new video every single week. So if you want to get those videos, be sure to, to subscribe to the channel. This is an energy reading, Sagittarius. So it is not a horoscope. So it, whatever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes. If it don't fit, don't squeeze it. Let it go. We start over here. We, as in me, starts over here with an oracle card reading. I'm going to pull a full oracle card spread. We're going to go into the energies. And then I will always continue it and offer an extended for those of you who are interested. That link is in the description box. And it's also in the comment section of every single video. Let's get into what Sag 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 is up to today. Oh, Sagittarius. I, there's a little bit of melancholy in you. A little bit of melancholy. Maybe you're thinking about somebody from the past. I'm telling you, this water energy has been affecting my fire signs. It has been like... <laughs> I'm not used to this. What is this? What is this? Uh, it's not, and it's not that you guys, you guys are very passionate folk. Absolutely. It's not that you don't feel, but it's about being stuck in the feeling. It's about having that feeling linger so long. It doesn't usually have as much control over you. It's like a bad, juicy, wet fart that kind of hangs in the air. And you're like, why is this still sticking to me? That's the kind of energy of Pisces season for you guys because you feel the fire. You feel the passion. You bring the passion. But then it's like on to the next step. You are the future. You are thinking about not even the now. You're thinking about the, in what, the future, the next, right? On to the next. But this is sticking to you. These feels, they're sticking to you. There's a reason behind it. Always, always, always. And it's basically Sagittarius. How do we use that energy to improve our lives and to help to help ourselves with what it what how can we help ourselves well listen we can make new friends maybe we can we can make love not war maybe we can make up with people that we haven't talked to in a while and it's not about letting them back into the, our lives as much as just just is sort of like patching up those pieces that we might have left behind like and basically filling in the cracks right especially to something that has to do with your foundation because if there are cracks in your foundation, then just forget about your future. Your future is going to be filled with uh, $10,000 contracting bills and having to move out and find a new house and collapsing in mudslides. If, that's, if, you, if there are cracks in your foundation, that's what your future is going to be. And if that's not what you want your future to be, then this is a blessing. This time where those feelings stick and make you look at those things that have caused little cracks in the foundation. And that's where you can patch them up. This is a great time to do that. What is the crowning energy for Sagittarius? Crowning energy for this week. Crowning energy. Energy crowning Sagittarius. Sag, Sag. There we go. Ah. Sing your song. Finding your voice again. Music coming back in your life. Sing your own song two plus one is three so this is finding balance which means that you're finally finding a way to sort of come out of this mucky weird period that you've been in a little bit too emotional a little bit too much for you this is a little bit liberation so this is gemini energy it's kind of making me think that when gemini goes direct i think on march 8th not gemini goes direct mercury which rules gemini goes direct on march 8th you'll have a lot to sing about. And I think it's because of the freedom and the release. Um, the heaviness that will be lifted will feel very, very good for you. And as we come closer and closer to the end of Pisces season, that has honestly, even for a Cancerian, I felt like I've lived a thousand lifetimes. 
in just the past week and a half. You know, like, like the, the, it's been a lot. And I think that that's, that's why it's because the psyche and the water holds on to a lot and we're reliving a lot of past lifetimes. So this is the engine. Uh, this is the energy of, I know why the cage bird sings. No, honey, this is like jail has rock. You got out of jail. You know, it's like the canary is finally free. You finally feel liberated. You finally feel free. You finally feel a little bit lighter and happier. And you're just whistling your own tune. I love it. That's a really beautiful energy for you to crown your energy is to find yourself again. Find yourself, especially when it's been a little bit difficult to find yourself in this craziness that we've been dealing with lately. Sometimes life stings. If you can find a reason to sting, even if you're going through hardships and hard times, then Sagittarius, you're about to get a, a, butt, a buttload of blessings. You're actually basically setting up your karma to be really, really good. And maybe that's, that's the thing. It's like, I sing because I want the future to be filled with joy. I sing because I don't want my life to be where it is at right now. This is that gadfly energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something's stinging you. Something keeps nipping you in the butt. And people may actually, this could be people talking junk about you online. You see the World Wide Web, a web, the buzz, the stinging, the irritations. Um, but this is more about the world. So it's almost like you're thinking more about the world and things are irritating you. It, you could be feeling a lot of frustration now because of things that are going on socially, not necessarily affecting or impacting your actual life, but impacting the way that you wake up in the morning, the way that you feel. Um, this could be you being a whistleblower, like exposing some of this this uh, this uh, but it's like exposing, trying to talk about what you see and what you see as the problems of the world. And you know that you the philosophers of the Zodiac. So you love to do this. And perhaps this is just your way of blowing off steam this week, but there will definitely be a lot coming from you about your ideas and your perceptions and your insights into social issues and problems. For those of you who are cross watching, you could expect a whole lot of that to be coming out of your Sagittarius this week overcome any obstacle so you are finding a way out you're finding a way through what did i keep saying it's like you're freed from prison you are finding a way out of these social struggles or these social problems or you're finding your way a way out of problems that have been bugging you that have basically consumed your world for many many a day you are finding a way out this is taurus energy this is bulldozing your way through this is having confidence in yourself you're feeling good about yourself because you found a way out. You're feeling very confident about the solutions you presented to an issue that has been impeding your progress. Hmm, I like that energy. Bring your ideas to life. I'm telling you, this is you, like literally whistleblowing, shining the lights on me, hair and makeup, that kind of energy. Like I am ready for my close-up Thank you. That, like, you really do believe in something. You have a lot of conviction in something. This is, could I be an idea, right? This is usually like dawning, bring your ideas to life. Um, four plus two is actually an energy of love and romance. It's, it's a six. Six makes me think of the lovers and the tarot cards. So this is happiness. Very, very happy to bring your ideas to life. Very, very happy to be listened to, to have people listening to you. You've got a lot of conviction and you could be shocking people. Like what is coming out of your mouth may be quite controversial and you don't care. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is Pisces energy. This is something that was hidden. This is like the moon energy, howl at the moon. Why do wolves howl at the moon? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> no, I mean, why do wolves howl at the moon? This is a natural response for them. This is because they know, they know the secrets of the moon. They talk to the moon. They can almost feel the vibrations of the moon and use it to communicate and connect with each other. There's also a need to be able to connect with each other in the dark. This is something that has been hidden. Like I said, this Piscean season, unveiling all of those cracks. This is your central energy. 
So this is central to your experience and why you are in the state that you're in right now, that you have had to, that you have had to face and look at things that you had overlooked or things that were hidden, secrets that were kept. This is an idea of secrets, 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 secrets and lies. Sagittarius, secrets and lies, but no, mm -mm. not anymore. You're whistleblowing. I'm telling you right now. I mean, <laughs> you may not want me to tell people right now. White Raven spirit, trust in the magic. Something new has started. A new life could be a new child, um, a new way of life, new ideas, something new, paving the way for something new. Maybe even something new that you don't want to start in some weird way. Like a newness that, in other words, you've spotted something different. And it may not even be something that you like. Be here now. This is you in the present moment, drinking the sweet nectar. See, hummingbird? She's drinking the sweet nectar. Three plus four is seven. So you're, you're creating something. You're creating something that is way sweet. Maybe with a Libra. You know, Sagittarius, I think you showed up in Libra's reading too. You might want to go check that. Yeah. Um, working on something. Working on basically a new way to live and a new way to be. Maybe even working on new opportunities. You will see, I think, new opportunities coming into you. There's something weird about this, this white raven energy right now. And it's getting to me and I really want to get to the bottom of it. Something odd. It's odd. It's like you're seeing it and you don't know if you should trust it. But it's saying to you, trust in the magic. But right away, when you see it at first, you don't, you don't trust it. It's odd. So there's an element that's just come into your life that's kind of surprised you. Something that you don't, you're not sure of yet. Ooh. I can feel it like you're just not sure of this new person, new opportunity. You're not quite sure of this new maybe circumstance or situation. You, you, you don't trust it a little bit and you could be calling it out and drawing attention to it. Trust in the divine detours. How many times are you going to, are you, or am I going to read today? Trust, trust Sagittarius. You're being asked to trust. In something that you didn't expect, something that you didn't anticipate. Because you're up here feeling all kinds of proud. But you better go with the flow. If you want to escape this prison, then you need to listen to divine intervention. And when it tells you, no, go left, not right. You can't be like, but I know I planned it. No. You're co-creating with spirit now. You got to listen. You got to be really in tune with your instincts and intuition. This is more energy of creation. Allowing those curveball, enjoying those curveballs, allowing them to be different and not anticipating, be here now, no anticipation. And this could be what you are presenting your ideas, no anticipation, no expectations. And that's why you feel so liberated. You've gotten rid of expectations. Grounding your energy is turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. You know how turkeys give, right? This is more energy of seven. Building something. You're giving all of yourself to a conviction. All of yourself to a project. You are going full in. Because turkeys give of themselves with their life, with their flesh and blood. That's what turkeys do. They give all of themselves. So this is something that you are totally and completely committed to. Watch your words. Oh my God. At a time when you want to sing out loud, this grounding energy is telling you to be careful and watch what you say. Mercury is still in retrograde. People will still be there to misinterpret what you said. It's just that there's a, there's a, there's a liberation from caring. There's a liberation from caring. It's like you're done worrying about how people interpret your words. The miracles are endless. Damn. 
Gosh, Sagittarius, wow. This spirit of yours is really charming people this week. You're getting a lot of opportunity that's coming into you. Like a lot of, um, this is Taurus energy, so it's a lot of material resources are, are being directed at you, right? But there is this energy of, mm, watch how you respond. Be sure to be gracious when these resources are presented to you. Let spirit be your guide. This is the energy of five. Change. Change your perspective. Change your outlook on the future. Change how you would behave by looking at things from a different perspective other than your own. Because you're going to be really, really tempted to um, just be all into yourself. But this is looking at things above. And keeping your heart and mind open. What did I say? You need to you need to co-create with spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. <laughs> I mean, pretty pretty clear cut, right? That's the energy that's grounding you, trying to remind you, Sagittarius. I know you want to pop off. I know you want to talk and just chatter, 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 chatter. But there's this like white raven coming to say, not yet. Don't stop. And that's why you don't trust it because it's conflicting. There's almost like this message that you're getting that's conflicting with what you want. You got to trust it because it's going to bring you what you want. It's just going to take you, you just, it's just going to redirect you because what you want is right and you are capable of getting it. But your idea for how to get it was the wrong direction. And you're being redirected so that you get what you want. Hold on. Let me review the cards with you. Sagittarius. This is a conflict of interest, isn't it? Because you're just so ready right now to just kind of let yourself loose. And scream and yell and say what you feel and say what you see and say what you've discovered. But something is intervening and it feels wrong, but it's actually right. It's going to give you what you want. But you have to hold on to your tongue for just a little, a little while longer. Watch what you have to say. You don't want to give away too much information. Or have people like, like know all of your thoughts. This is that central energy of keeping something to yourself. Being a little bit secretive, a little bit hidden. Taking a bit more time before you announce and explode. But at least you got the confidence, right? You feel good about yourself. You're ready. It's almost like sitting there ma making somebody like, no, you're not, we're not going to break you out of prison yet. And of course you just want to like go gung ho, but you're like, not yet, not yet. Pause for a second. Somebody's telling you to pause, pause. Don't, don't go yet. And you think they're crazy, but they see something you don't trust them. Trust them. I want to articulate this energy because there is so many directions of Sagittarius that this energy can go in. And I need some details. So the extended is, yeah, okay. The, ext the, link, the link to the extended is in the description box and in the comment section. I hope to see you over there, Sagittarius, so that we continue on this journey and this story together. That will also include your romance reading as well. I'll see you guys over there.